In the business of real estate, location and timing are often said to be the keys to success. But for Singapore-based Capital Land, one factor rules above everything else. We think that it's the people who decide the location, it's the people who decide the timing. And I say that if we make the people's decision right, then both will be right. If our people's decision is wrong, then you find it wrong location, wrong timing. So to me, the emphasis is on building people. In a talk at NUS Business School, Capital and CEO Liu Men Leong focused on developing people as the basis for corporate success and offered lessons on nurturing and retaining talent in times of crisis. Headquartered and listed in Singapore, Capital Land was born in 2000 from the merger of DBS Land and Pidemco Land. It's now the largest real estate company in Asia, with a strong and rapidly growing presence in China, a market which accounts for 38% of its assets. From around 9 billion Singapore dollars a few years ago, its total market cap now stands at about 34 billion. It employs about 12,000 staff in 20 countries across three continents. Capital Land's main focus, however, is on markets in Singapore and China, with the latter accounting for the bulk of its growth and about half of the company's staff. Setting out the company's corporate culture, Liu spelled out the factors that he says are the foundations of Capital Land's success. First, an open and flat organizational structure intended to shorten the power distance and promote interaction. I make it a point whenever I switch on my computer every morning, if I see a name that I'm not familiar with my staff, I open that particular email first. That is the first email I open because it is somebody who wants to tell me something. Capital Land, he says, believes in empowerment and operational flexibility, with CEOs of its various divisions given autonomy on all operational matters. But, alongside a process of decentralization, there is also a policy of standardization. It seems to be a, a contradictory statement, but it's not. What we are saying is we give you all the power to operate, but we standardize certain things, especially performance and some policies. As long as you remain within the policy framework, you can do what you want. Another highly valued Capital Land trait, integrity. Liu says the firm takes a zero-tolerance approach to corruption. It's not good enough to be honest, he says. You must be seen to be honest. People say, how do you do it in China? It can be done. Believe me, it can be done. Which is why whenever we have some big problem in China, nothing happened to us. And my, my advice is collaborate with them, work with them, but don't sleep with them. <laughs> and finally, focusing on the managerial process, Liu has clear views. Management, he says, should be participative and consultative, but... I personally believe that there is no democracy in management. I don't need consensus. I don't need your consensus, but I will consult you, I'll let you participate, and then we will make a decision, but I expect that after the decision is made, you support it. If you throw stone behind it, uh, then we will make sure that uh, you won't be around to throw stones. On managing human resources, Liu says he takes an active role in decisions, with job rotations in the company a regular feature. And Liu has his own particular take on talent development, via his weekly email sent every Sunday to all 12,000 Capital Land staff. In these, he shares his vision, values and strategy for the company. It's my hobby, and I write stories about what I saw in China, in India, in Vietnam, and usually I try to distill some lessons. Why are people behaving this way? What is a lesson to learn? And I've compiled them into two books called Building People. That focus on building people, he says, is at the foundation of building a successful corporate community and nurturing the next generation of leaders. My own conviction is that if you are successful, there must be talent that you can nurture to take over. But you will screw up the company, then somebody can come in and do what you do. But if you have been successful, then my own thinking is that an inside candidate is always better. You don't have to take time to learn the job. For Liu, that policy has helped Capital Land weather the economic troubles of the past decade and put it in a strong position to face any further challenges ahead. I'm not worried about crisis if I have the right people with me because crisis makes them stronger and the bonding becomes stronger if you have good people with you. For NUS Business School, I'm Joe Haverley.